Big changes at the White House, where President Obama's senior staff is about to undergo what they're calling a major retooling. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant, who's tracking who's in and who's out, joins us now live this morning. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Well, there are a lot of changes coming, but you know, for the most part, the president is just reshuffling the same deck. One exception to that is close advisor and press secretary Robert Gibbs, who is actually leaving and next month or so for the private sector. I would not trade the worst day I've had here for uh, many of the best days that you might have in another job. Gibbs is just the latest in the recent White House shakeup. He's been with Barack Obama since 2004 and won't cut his ties completely. He'll be an outside advisor to the White House and the president's re-election campaign. Candidates to replace Gibbs as the spokesman, his deputies Bill Burton and Joshua Ernest, Jay Carney, the vice president's communications director, and Karen Finney, former Democratic National Committee spokeswoman. Another guessing game, will there be a new chief of staff? Pete Rouse has been filling in since Rahm Emanuel returned to Chicago to run for mayor. If Rouse steps aside, the leading candidate to replace him is Chicagoan Bill Daly, former Commerce Secretary, now an investment banker. Daly met with the president and high-level staff on Wednesday. Former Senator Tom Daschle and Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack have also been mentioned as candidates. Councilor David Axelrod returns to Chicago soon to work on the president's re-election. 2008 campaign manager David Pluff joins the White House team next Monday. Shakeups like this aren't uncommon after two years, says CBS News analyst John Dickerson. It's a good thing to have turnover in a White House because with the 24-hour news cycle, it's constant. They need fresh legs, they need a fresh perspective, and they need people who've just gotten some sleep. But hold on, there's more. Tomorrow, the president will announce a new head of his National Economic Council. It'll be Gene Sperling, who held the post in the Clinton administration, is now a Treasury official. So lots of changes, but still pretty much all in the family. Chris? CBS's Bill Plant at the White House for us this morning. Bill, thank you.